ओके हेलो एवरीवन गुड मॉर्निंग लेट स्टार्ट विथ नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम एडिशनल क्वेश्चन बैंक ऑफ इंडस एस लॉगर इदम ओके नाउ वी आर ट्राइंग टू सॉल्व एवरी क्वेश्चन विद इन वन मिनट राइट बट सम क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द नेक्स्ट फ्यू क्वेश्चन ओके आफ्टर वी आर वेड अंडल थर्टी थ्री इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो थर्टी फोर थर्टी फोर ऑनवर्ड्स सम क्वेश्चन आर सच दैट दे आर गोइंग टू टेक टाइम ओके मोर देन वन मिनट बिकॉज देर इज नो शॉर्टकट अवेलेबल और एल्स द यू नो अजिमिंग नंबर्स विल लीड अस टू टेक मोर टाइम सो इट इज बेटर टू सॉल्व बट अंडरस्टैंड इन एग्जाम सम क्वेश्चन आर ऑलवेज गोइंग टू बी लाइक दिस विच विल टेक मोर देन वन मिनट ओके बट देर विल बी अदर क्वेश्चन विच यू कैन डू इन टेन सेकेंड्स ट्वेंटी सेकेंड्स इफ यू नो द ट्रिक्स सो यू शुड लर्न टू बैलेंस इन एग्जाम इन एग्जाम ऑलवेज कीप इन माइंड दैट you have to balance between the lengthy questions and the short questions so that you don't focus too much on lengthy questions and lose out on other questions and if you just keep on solving short questions it might happen that you have just solved 40 50 questions so that also should not happen so just uh, it should be well balanced i'll put up a video later on how to actually solve the questions in exam how to attempt the paper so that you can easily solve you know around 80 questions at least okay you should always aim for 100 Hmm. Well, let's start. Question thirty-four. Get ready with your calculators. I hope you have solved this by yourself first, and then you are coming to the video. That will be more helpful. So thirty-four. Uh, okay. Previous videos link I'll give in the uh, description or comments. Also, uh, there is a Telegram channel that I have created where I put daily MCQs. Okay, so you get a lot of practice before exam. So you can join that. Link is given in the description. Thirty-four. If 3 raised to a is equal to 5 raised to b is equal to 75 raised to c, then what is value of this? Okay. Now I have told you in such cases, whenever there are two equal to signs, you should, if you cannot assume numbers, then you have to assume k. Okay. Now here actually we cannot assume numbers because it will be very difficult to find a, b, c which fits this criteria. Okay. So let's assume k and let's try to solve this. Okay. So we have assumed everything as k. Now. 3 raised to a is k. That means 3 is equal to what? If we raise both sides by 1 by a, a a will be cancelled. So it will be 3 is equal to k raised to 1 by a. 5 is equal to k raised to 1 by b. 75 is equal to k raised to 1 by c. Now no other information is given. They have just asked us to find something a b minus c into 2a plus b. Okay. Sorry, a b plus I guess it was no minus c into 2a plus b. Now we can use that 75 can be written as 3 uh, raised to something into 5 raised to something. Concentrate. Can I write 75 as what? 75 is divisible by 5, right? 75 by 5 is what? 15. So instead of 75, let's write 15 into 5. Instead of 15, let's write 5 into 3 into 5. Or I can just write 3 into 5 square is equal to k raised to 1 by c. 3 is to 3 into 5 square is equal to k raised to 1 by c, but 3 is what k raised to 1 by a into 5 square is what k raised to 1 by b square. That is k raised to 2 by b is equal to k raised to 1 by c. Fine. Can we just add the parts a raised to m into a raised to m is what a raised to m plus n. Okay. Now base is same. That means powers must be same. So let me write here now. 1 by a plus 2 by b is equal to 1 by c. If we rearrange this, hopefully we'll get whatever is asked. Let's try. So let's cross multiply b plus 2a, this and this, divided by ab is equal to 1 by c. Okay. If you see, if we uh, take c to the left hand side, it'll be c into b plus 2a is equal to ab. So this is what we wanted, right? Because if we now take this entire thing to right hand side as minus. That will be zero is equal to a b minus c into b plus two a is what two a plus b. That is what is asked. So zero is the correct answer. Option something b. Okay. Fine. So this was a little time-consuming question. Let's go to thirty-five similar question. Okay. I hope you can try it by yourself. But still, let's let me solve it quickly. Twelve. Okay. It is going to be about k raised to one by one by one by c. That is fine. So twelve is k raised to one by c, which is equal to twelve is what. 12 can be written as 3 into 4 or 3 into 2 square, right? So it is going to be k raised to 1 by b plus uh, sorry into k raised to 1, 2 by a, right? Again, that will be 1 by c is equal to 1 by b plus 2 by a. Same logic, right? 
so if we cross multiply it is again going to give us the same thing 1 by c is equal to a plus 2b upon ab so now take ab to left hand side c to right hand side and subtract you are going to get 0 only so a is again the correct answer okay next is question 36 36 is again a good one if 2 raised to a is equal to 4 raised to b is equal to 8 raised to c and abc is 288 then what is that okay now here we don't need to assume k actually because 2 raised to a is equal to can i write 4 as 2 square 2 square will be 2 raised to 2b then and 8 is 2 cube so it is 2 raised to 3c okay that means we have a is equal to 2b is equal to 3c right now they have given a b c is equal to 288 a b c is equal to 288 but a is what a is 2b right so can i just write 2b into b into c is equal to 288 right but let's rearrange c also let's rearrange this 2b is equal to 3c that means c is equal to what 2 by 3b right so can i just write 2 into b into b into 2 by 3b is equal to 288 so it is going to be 4 by 3 into b cube is equal to 288. Let's take 4 by 3 to right hand side. It will be 288 into 3 by 4, 216. So b cube is equal to 216. b cube is equal to 216. That is correct. Now 216 is cube of what? If you just check, if you don't know, you should check. See, 5 cube is 125, right? That is, hopefully you know, otherwise you can do it on calculator. Let's check 6 cube, it is 216, right? So B is 6. If B is 6, then A is what? A was 2B, so A is 12. And C is what? C was 2 by 3B. So 6 into 2 by 3 is 4. Just check once, 6 into 12 into 4 is 288, yes. Now we can easily calculate this. 1 by 2A is 1 by 24. Plus 1 by 4B is 1 by 24. Plus 1 by 8C is... 1 by 32 right do it on calculator only 24 divided by equal to m plus reciprocal is divided by equal to right m plus again 24 divided by equal to m plus again 32 divided by equal to m plus when you press mrc uh, just check what you get i did something wrong 24 divided by equal to m plus 24 divided by equal to m plus 32 divided by equal to m plus when you press mrc you get 0. 1 1 4 5 8 check which option gives you that 1 by 8 is not correct so 11 by 96 probably yes c is the correct answer for this question question number 36 okay 37 if a raised to p is equal to b raised to q is equal to something something and a b is equal to c d then what is value of that again imagine can you assume numbers if you assume numbers then you will have to satisfy this condition and then accordingly you will have to uh, rearrange p and q okay that is also possible but maybe we can do it uh, in a short way using k now k will be what see a will be what k raised to 1 by p b will be k raised to 1 by q k raised to 1 by r k raised to 1 by s let's rearrange directly here a is k raised to 1 by p into b is k raised to 1 by q is equal to c k raised to 1 by r into d is equal to k raised to 1 by s right we can add the powers that means k raised to 1 by p plus 1 by q is equal to k raised to 1 by r plus 1 by s right so let's ignore the base so 1 by p plus 1 by q is equal to 1 by r plus 1 by s so that is what they have asked if you just shift the terms to left hand side 1 by p plus 1 by q minus 1 by r minus 1 by s nothing will be there on the right hand side so 0 is the correct answer option c for question number 37 38 if a raised to b is equal to b raised to a, then this reduces to what? We can assume some numbers. Let's assume 2 and 4. So we know that 4 square is 16. 2 raised to 4 is also 16, right? So that means we are assuming uh, a as 4 and b as 2, right? a as 4, b as 2. You can assume opposite also, does not matter. So what is value of that? a by b is 4 by 2, that is 2. Raised to a by b is again 4 by 2, that is 2. Minus a, a is 4 a by b is again 4 by 2 that is 2 minus 1 so 2 square is 4 minus 4 raised to 1 is 4 4 minus 4 is 0 so option c is the correct answer again for question number 38 39 if m is equal to b raised to x n is equal to b raised to y and this is given 
then what is value of x y okay now we can just uh, you know directly solve it instead of uh, assuming any numbers etc because it is a small question there are only two terms right so m raised to y m is what b raised to x right so m raised to y will be b raised to x raised to y that will be b raised to x y into n raised to x but n is what b raised to y so b raised to y raised to x that is again b raised to x y is equal to b square that means let's add the powers b raised to x y plus x y is 2 x y is equal to b square base is same that means power is same 2 2 can be cancelled x y is equal to 1 option c is again the correct answer lot of questions have option c is the answer fine question 40 if a raised to x y raised to something b is equal to something c is equal to something then what is value of this okay here again one good option would be to assume numbers that is fine assume x y m n p all as something but if you are comfortable with solving bracket opening and everything then i would suggest don't assume numbers solve it directly that will be faster okay if you are good with uh, opening brackets and multiplying a raised to n minus p a is what this so this m minus 1 raised to n minus p they are saying right now let's do something let's directly open that bracket it will be what x raised to n minus p into y raised to m minus 1 into n minus p right similarly second term will be what b raised to p minus m so b is x raised to p minus m into y raised to n minus 1 into p minus m again c c is x raised to m minus n into y raised to p minus 1 into m minus n okay let's combine all the powers of x a raised to m into a raised to n is equal to a raised to m plus n so it will be x raised to n minus p plus p minus m plus m minus n is everything getting cancelled n minus n m minus m p minus p yes so x raised to 0 so that is anyway 1 anything raised to 0 is 1 let's only focus on y for y we'll have to open that bracket y m into n so m n m into p minus m p minus n plus p because minus 1 into minus p right carefully second bracket let me directly add it n into p n p minus m n m n m n minus p plus m plus m p minus n p minus m plus n okay most probably everything will get cancelled right uh, mn minus mn np minus np mp and minus here this was minus mp minus n plus n minus m plus n everything is getting cancelled y raised to 0 1 so anything everything raised to 0 that is one option a for question number 40 question number 41 again similar question you can try it by yourself if you have not already okay so just a second okay so question 41 let's try again a raised to n minus p into b raised to p minus m into c raised to m minus n right let's follow the same thing a is x raised to n plus p sorry into bracket that other one oh or let's do one thing for this question i'll tell you how to, how it works if we assume numbers okay so if someone is not comfortable with opening brackets you can assume numbers also let's see how we can assume x, y, m, n, p, everything as something. Not 1. Okay, don't assume 1 because 1 raised to anything is 1. So let's say 2 and 3. And again 2, 3 and let's say 4. Okay. So a is what? x raised to n plus p. x raised to n plus p. That is 2 raised to 3 plus 4, 7. 2 raised to 7 into y raised to m that is 3 raised to 2 3 square 2 raised to 7 3 square fine b is what x raised to p plus m that is 2 raised to 6 and 3 raised to 3 c is what 2 raised to 5 and 3 raised to 4 that's it now what is value of that a raised to n minus p and something something let's try to find out a raised to n minus p n minus p is 3 minus 4 so minus 1 let me raise this okay. 
n minus p so minus 1 b raised to p minus m p minus m is 2 and c raised to m minus n m minus n is minus 1 again okay fine minus 1 is reciprocal so it will go in denominator 2 raised to 7 3 raised to 2 2 raised to 5 3 raised to 4 first and last term second term will be 2 raised to 6 square is 2 raised to 12 3 raised to 3 into 2 is 2 raised to 6 3 raised to 6 sorry right check if everything is getting cancelled 7 plus 5 is 12 so 2 raised to 12 will get cancelled 2 plus 4 is 6 in the denominator so 3 will also get cancelled so 1 is the correct answer option b okay fine logically think if you have something like this then it will not reduce to 0 right it cannot reduce to 0 because powers will not be 0 it cannot reduce to minus 1 also because something raised to something cannot be minus 1 unless this is negative right so it is going to be either 1 or none fine 42 42 again we can use a very good shortcut that is our calculator okay. if a is given then what is value of a q plus 3 a minus 2 let's calculate a using our calculator only okay how to use how to calculate a using our calculator concentration is must root 2 plus 1 let's do it on calculator 2 square root plus 1 that should be 2.414 something now we have to take cube root of this cube root means we have to do this raised to 1 by 3 right then we can use 12 times square root method how to use 12 times square root method i have explained it in previous video and also in a separate video take 12 times square root 1 2 3 4 minus 1 then into power that is into 1 by 3 then plus 1 and then into equal to into equal to 12 times we are reversing this process so into equal to 1 into equal to 2 3 check if you are getting something like 1.3453 okay don't write it 1.34 sorry 34153 3. don't write it we have to add this right we have to add this so just do m plus you have to be 100 percent concentrated on your calculator dedicated towards that only only then you'll be able to get this directly m plus don't write m plus now let's find this part again don't press anything don't press the off button okay just 2 root minus 1 that is this inside part 2 root minus 1 that is 0.4142 something something again we have to do the 12 times square root method because we have to do raise to 1 by 3 so let's do it 12 times square root then minus 1 into 1 by 3 plus 1 and then into equal to into equal to 12 times check if you are getting something like 0.74544 again don't write just press m minus because you have to subtract it don't write anything okay you can just m plus and m minus to get your final answer now press MRC to get A. That's it. When you press MRC, you should get something like 0 0.59968. Okay. Now A is this. So you have to calculate that. That is now easy. How? Clear your memory. Always press MRC twice. Whenever you press MRC, it should be pressed two times. Okay. So that memory is cleared. Now let's calculate this. A cube 0.59968 into equal to equal to for cube m plus 3 into a that is 3 into 0.59968 m plus and 2 m minus if you press mrc you should get something like 0 0.014 something something right that is closest to what 0 so 0 is our correct answer okay this 12 times per root method does not give exact answer approximate answer only but that is fine for us okay there is nothing which is nowhere close to that 0 0.01 is closest to 0 only right so b is the correct answer for question number 42 let's go to 43 43 is a good one because we have a very good very small shortcut for it let's assume x has something now what should we assume x has logically assume x has something 
which has cube root integer cube root so let's assume x as 8 so a is what 8 raised to 1 by 3 8 raised to 1 by 3 is 2 plus 8 raised to minus 1 by 3 is 1 by 8 raised to 1 by 3 that is 1 by 2 that is 2 plus 0.5 2.5 so a is 2.5 x is 8 a is 2.5 right let's calculate this 2.5 cube so 2.5 into equal to equal to m plus 3 into 2.5 m minus if you press mrc you get this as 8.125 okay. x is 8 right fine let's calculate which option gives us the answer 8 plus x raised to minus 1 is 1 by 8 check 1 by 8 plus 8 8.125 right so a is the correct answer that's it nothing else is needed for 43 44 44 is again going to be a question where you have to use the 12 times square root method but if you think logically and carefully then there is a shortcut shortcut to the shortcut okay shortcut to the shortcut now see ideal way is ideally mathematically correct way is what calculate a square that is 3 is to 1 by 4 plus something something bracket square then a plus b bracket square obviously this is mcq exam we are not going to do that then what will we do we'll find value of a and b using 12 times square root method but then there is even more shortcut because we don't even need 12 times square root method understand whenever you have something raised to 1 by 4 concentrate 3 raised to 1 by 4 can you write it as 3 raised to 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 which is 3 raised to 1 by 2 bracket raised to 1 by 2 which is nothing but root of 3 a square root so root of root of 3 right so you just have to take 3 and press square root 2 times that's it right so let's try to find our a and b now that is very easy okay so take on your calculator 3 square root square root m plus and this concentrate this is reciprocal 1 by 3 is to 1 by 4 right so just whatever you've got on your calculator already just take reciprocal divided by equal to and again press m plus if you press mrc you will get value of a which is 2.075909 you have to write this okay because no option b again 3 2 times square root m plus and reciprocal m minus mrc b is 0 0.556238 fine again you have to write this now we can do it on calculator now i hope your memory is cleared calculator's memory is cleared not your a square a square is what 2.075909 square into equal to m plus b square 0 0.556238 square m plus mrc mrc will give you this again square so again into equal to and into 3 that should give you 63.999 which is 64 so option c is the correct answer for question number 44 okay again 45 is similar where you can you know directly use calculator 3 plus 1 by root so root 3 plus 1 by root 3 so root 3 root m plus reciprocal m plus mrc so x is 2.309401 y is again 3 root m plus and reciprocal m minus if you press mrc y is 1.1547005 Okay. x square minus y square 2.309401 square m plus 1.1547005 square m minus if you press mrc you get 3.9999 which is 4 option d is the correct answer for question number 45 okay now let's take up last question for this video because question 47 will take some time okay so that will cover in the next video take question 46 let's take first okay because 47 there is no shortcut as such 46 again same similar a is something then what is value of this again best way is to uh, do it on your calculator now for this you have to be 100 percent aligned with your calculator just like you use your phones you should be able to use your calculators how to do it on calculator see if you calculate this first then it will be easy you won't have to write anything in exam this should come naturally with practice only this will come right root 2 plus root 3 how can we do it 2 root plus 3 root 
is equal to that is 3.146 to something if you want you can write it but don't write it i would suggest just press m plus m plus now let's calculate numerator 4 into 6 root that is 9.797 something and after you calculate numerator then press divided by denominator denominator is what mrc right divided by mrc always mrc twice and equal to so when you press this you should get a as 3.114156 3.114156 okay concentrate and try to do it again if you are not able to do it let me know in comments but this is the way that you have to follow once you solve like 10 15 questions like this then you will get used to it the exam you can quickly calculate it if it comes so it's 3.114156 where it go 3.114156 fine let's calculate this quickly now again the best way would be to calculate denominator first for this 2 into root 2 let's calculate this first again you have you can calculate any way that you want i am suggesting the quickest way 2 into 2 root is equal to m minus a 3.114156 m plus press mrc twice that will give you the denominator again when you get denominator 0.2857 press m plus now numerator 2 into 2 root plus a 3.114156 divided by mrc equal to that will give you first term as 20.7979789 something fine now you will have to write this no other option second term a minus 2 root 3 so 2 into 3 root m minus a that is 3.114156 m plus mrc will give you denominator add it to memory then uh, 2 into root 3 2 into 3 root plus a 3.114156 divided by mrc equal to that will give you minus 18.7979 minus 4 something something right so if you observe 20 minus 18 is going to be 2. So 2 is the answer for question number 46. This was a little bit complicated but if you are well versed with your calculator, if you are comfortable with your calculator, you should be able to do it fast. Okay. So these were some good questions. 47 is lengthy. It is going to take some time at least of 2-3 minutes at least. Okay. So let's keep that for next video and then we'll go to next few questions. Again they are similar calculator based questions. Okay. Nearly till 54 and even excluding 55 again next questions are calculator based all indices questions are calculator based now fine so let's try to cover everything else in next video fine so let's stop here for today if you have any doubts let me know in comments okay bye everyone